We're from the Kingsman Tailor's Shop in London. Maybe you've heard of us? It was 2013. Matthew originally had cast another actor in this role. I think it was written for Aaron Johnson. But the dates didn't work. So I think they opened up the auditions and I managed to, you know, get in there. Oh, yes. Very nice. What does this do? Electrocute you. Don't be ridiculous. It's a hand grenade. Shut up. And what was your audition like? I've always quite enjoyed auditions. I quite like them. I think there's something about the adrenaline and the thrill of it all, and especially if you really want something, it's so exciting. And this was one I really, really, really wanted. I went along an audition for Matthew Vaughan at Leavesden Studios, and he came in and didn't look at me and sat there, and I was sort of stood, you know, getting ready to do this scene. Bonkers. He goes, okay, go. Right. Didn't look at me the whole audition, so I'm doing my thing, giving it the big one, and he doesn't say anything for the whole thing. And he sort of stops, and I'm kind of like... And, um, and he just sort of looks up at me and goes, what was your name again? <laughs> that was the kind of start of it. And I sort of remember when he just asked me what my name was again, I sort of went, <sighs> OK. Was there a chemistry test with Colin? Because it's such a big part of the first film and this film. Lots of actors did chemistry tests with Colin. I didn't because he wasn't available, but he was sent all of my tapes. And that was enough? You know, got the first seal of approval. Yeah, and now he's given you a mug that says, keep calm and glove on the He came in there years ago, I've still got it. It's in the flat, yeah, I've still got it, I love it. My favourite photo of Colin Firth, and I have many, <laughs> is the top of your Twitter profile, because you're grinning, and he's just got this slightly dorky face. <laughs> yeah, Colin's got resting bitch face. <laughs> Serious case. Like, I call it commuter face. Commuter face? That's even better. And I agree. Tube face. I interviewed him just a few days ago, and I was like, oh my god, it's Colin Firth. And he sits down and he's like... I fell down a YouTube hole preparing for this interview, and I may have spent a worrying amount of time skipping through videos of you accidentally looking longingly at Colin Firth. Yes, there are lots of videos of me looking longingly at Colin Firth. Have you seen the photo that Mark Miller posted, though? And it's actually me looking longingly at Pedro. And Colin is stood behind, and he looks so unbelievably jealous. <laughs> so, so jealous. Uh, worth checking out. When you knew the role was yours, how did you celebrate? Dominoes and beer. Because Matthew was so about sort of getting in shape, I find it very, very hard to stay Lean. I don't, the gym I love, mm -hmm. it's the not eating anything I struggle with. Domino's and beer, because I knew it would be the last time I'd be able to have it for a while. Well, fingers mm. crossed, sometime soon. Now Robin Hood's done. Actually, I'm now getting ready for reshoots. They told me two and a half weeks ago I'm topless on the set of the Robin Hood reshoots. They've got to reshoot the topless scene, and I've gotten really fat during August. So I'm quite cross about it. Nightmare. 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 Good. Thank you. When the first Kingsman came out, your winks became a bit of a thing. Yeah, I think I overdid them a bit. <laughs> I might have overdone them a bit. Maybe rain in the wink a bit. I think I found myself doing it a couple of times in Robin Hood, and I was like, Tan, you can't be doing this in another franchisey type thing, you know? When you're doing the reshoots, topless, for me, could, mm. you, give, could you give us a wink? If, if it's not appropriate to the, to the scene, I might have to try and make it look like a twitch or something. <laughs> Am I right in thinking you can do both eyes? I knew it. I knew it. We talked a bit before about your friendship with Colin. Yeah. But there's another man in your life. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That was better with Bo Derek. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I think a little bit of we came out. I saw him a couple of weeks ago, actually. We had some... We had some... Greyhounds together, that's Hugh's drink. Hugh drinks a greyhound. Does he? Next time I'm trying to suck up to him, I'll bring it up. Oh, yeah. And I love that support video you did for him. Oh, God, I, well, I found I was on Snapchat. Yeah. And I went, that filter looks quite a lot like Eddie the Eagle. <laughs> and I sort of did the face that I do in the movie. It was like, lo and behold, uh, it, Eddie was back. I'd been meaning to do some sort of tweet of support for Hugh's swan song as the Wolverine, 
Hogan. And then I sort of, I think they did like a Wolverine, yeah, like a Wolverine yeah. pose, yeah. You also did the Robin Hood arrows as well. That I thought was quite cool, yeah. So I got them to cut down some arrows for me and did some Robin Hood arrows. Would you agree with me that making Hugh Jackman laugh is like winning the high score of life for like three seconds? Yeah, it was amazing. And I actually, I have to say, I do think I have something of a gift for it. <laughs> there is something about me and Hugh. I can sort of look at him and make him laugh. And I don't have that relationship with very many people. It doesn't look with Colin. Go on, Colin, you're loving it. <laughs> I don't think Hugh has a commuter face. Hugh can't do it. Can't do it. He can't do it. Sean's mad as well. I've went, I saw him a couple of weeks ago and he's stopped doing all of his ridiculous training now for Wolverine and he still looks he's still in the same shape. I went, you are training. And he went, I'm not, man. I'm not. I'm serious, I'm not. And he's still like the incredible Hulk. Or the Wolverine, I mean. Or the Wolverine would probably be more accurate, yeah. <laughs> What do people typically say to you on the street when they recognise you? I get a lot of manners, makers, man. Manners. Maketh. Man. A couple of people sort of do this with me a bit when they're drunk. Sort of. I think you tasty, dear. Like, no, I absolutely don't. I'm an actor in a film. Now, Tom Hiddleston has Hiddlestoners and Benedict Cumberbatch has Cumber Babes. What does Taron Edgerton have for his collective name for his fans? Um, all three of them. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, I really don't know. I had a very brief two second to think about this and the only thing I can come up with was Tarantulas, which makes almost no sense. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I sort of think that's quite good. Could we make that happen, internet? Tarantulas. <laughs> I've never thought of that before. <laughs> when you say it, it sounds slightly less silly. Tarant tarantulas. It's just a word. <laughs> it's just a word <laughs> made up. But the first two syllables of <laughs> sounds very much like my name. <laughs>